Hi, I'm Rudy Winston from Canon USA, and I'm here today with B&H to introduce the industry's first full-frame mirrorless camera dedicated to astrophotography. It's the Canon EOS RA, and this camera squarely targets astrophotography enthusiasts, both users who shoot terrestrial images and users of medium-sized equatorial telescopes. This camera is based on the EOS R mirrorless camera, with two important exceptions that target it squarely for astrophotography use. First, the low-pass filter pack immediately in front of the imaging sensor has been completely revised, and the infrared blocking filter changed to admit approximately four times as much hydrogen alpha illumination at 653 nanometers. This is gonna deeply enhance the red tones that you can capture with nebula and certain other celestial bodies. The other important change compared to the conventional EOS R is that we have magnification now for focusing both five times and 30 times magnification to really enhance precise manual focusing on stars and other celestial bodies. Only other difference compared to the EOS R is the RA logo on the front of the camera. The camera has the same full frame 30.3 million pixel image sensor as the EOS R. Full frame means that photographers doing terrestrial work are gonna have a lot of choices in wide angle lenses that give true wide angle coverage. And in addition, the pixel size on this sensor is quite large. Each individual pixel is 5.36 microns. What that means is that the camera has excellent light gathering capability, along with good resolution and detail. In terms of overall image quality, high ISO noise on this camera is extremely well controlled, particularly at the high ISOs that are common in astrophotography, such as ISO 1600, 3200, and so on. The camera has the Canon RF lens mount, so we're really excited about the prospect of using some of the very high performance RF lenses on this camera for astrophotography work. But in addition, don't forget, with any of three Canon lens mount adapters, you can put any Canon EF lens from the EOS system onto this camera and still have all the features and functionality preserved. Because the EOS RA is a mirrorless camera, it brings some additional neat features to the astrophotography user. One right up front is the electronic viewfinder, which is so good in low light situations and you can view directly through the lens and get a magnified view up to 30 times as well through the viewfinder. And of course, you can also view on the LCD monitor. Another benefit from the mirrorless design is the option to shoot with silent shutter. Now, the important thing there isn't so much that we don't make noise. The important thing is silent shutter is a totally electronic shutter that's virtually vibration free. And in high magnification situations, particularly mounted on a telescope, that can be a big asset. The camera, of course, has Canon's dual pixel CMOS AF. So if you want to use autofocus to just quickly get yourself in a general position photographing on celestial bodies or the moon or whatever, you can do that and then fine tune manually as you like. And one other nice feature is long exposure time in terms of battery life. With a single charged Canon LPE 6N battery, you can get up to seven hours of bulb exposure time, which incidentally is more than twice as much as we could get with a DSLR, such as, for example, the Canon EOS 5D Mark IV. Several other features round out this camera's appeal to the dedicated astrophotography enthusiast. One is the very angle LCD monitor, which is a big asset when the camera's mounted on telescopes or in situations which is frequent in astrophotography where you have to aim the camera almost straight up. So you got the choice of viewfinder viewing or LCD monitor viewing. The camera has 4K video capability and can do 4K time lapse in camera. So there are a lot of neat things here targeting that serious astrophotography enthusiast. And I wanna repeat as we close that this camera, again, is dedicated to astrophotography. And because of changes in the infrared filtration in front of the imaging sensor, it's really not suited for general purpose shooting. For Canon USA and for B&H Photo, I'm Rudy Winston. Thank you so much for being with us.